Welcome back to Afghanistan, my friends. I know a lot of you guys enjoyed this Shield of the Prophet gameplay, which essentially puts us uh, with the Soviets in the Afghan war, but with a slight twist. And this slight twist in alternative history is that the Iranians have stepped in to actually assist the Afghans. Now, in this particular battle, we're actually supposed to defend from um, an Iranian or Afghan attack coming from here. There's three victory locations here. There's also a valley location right here that we can take. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these tanks here, and I'm going to order them to pretty much take the valley. I think I'll spread them out just a little bit. As for the enemy attack, I'll be honest with you. I mean, I think we outgun the enemy, although I might get a big surprise. Because again, the Iranians have tanks here. Um, in this battle and in this campaign, it's not just against, you know, enemy militia or Taliban fighters or anything like that. This is actually against um, the Iranians, too. So I'm just going to go ahead, pretty much make, you know, kind of substandard defense, to be honest with you. We've got some uh, mortars here, so I'm going to take this mortar and put them back here. And I'm going to take that leader unit and also keep them back here. Let's grab the tank and the armored car and put them up at the front. So I'm hoping this will be sufficient to dissuade <clears throat> any of the Afghans from uh, overtaking us, let's say. I'm going to go ahead and finish the deployment. And at this point, all I really need to do is order this unit forward to take that point. There is a point there. You guys will just have to trust me. I keep the waypoints off so that the game looks a little more realistic. And I'm actually going to make it a covert move. So I'm going to move in there quite slowly. And you know what? I want this leader unit to actually fast move over here behind the tanks. Guys, let's get into the fight. Let's see how it goes. I'm going to go ahead and press start. And as I always do with these tank battles uh, in Gravitine Tactics, I will come back when the action begins. But initially, I just want to kind of get a look here at our front lines, see what we're looking at. A lot of beautiful tanks ready to fight here. Um, and hopefully, they come out on top. Of course, only time will really tell if these guys uh, can actually destroy the enemy. But I feel pretty confident. Um, we've also got some mortars back here in case infantry attacks. Let's just hope we're not facing too much. But across the rolling sands here, anything could be coming for us. All right, first enemy contacts, folks. And I think it's armored cars. Pretty sure Mujahideen armored cars here. Um, actually, these are Iranian armored cars. They've got the symbol of the Jihad right on the front of the vehicle. There's another one approaching from here, and it looks like our guys have already spotted it. Uh, I want to make sure that we've got Karpov facing this guy. He's paying attention to that other uh, vehicle, and I actually want him paying attention to that, that armored car. We got the first one pretty easily. Great shooting there, but I'd love to go ahead and tag the second one if we can. Come on, Karpov. Or Mother Russia. Receiving orders. Oh, we've got a bunch of enemy contacts there. Good shooting, Karpov. I think he may have killed it. But we've got to jump back. We are under heavy fire suddenly. Let's see what Karpov's hit did. Oh, 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 oh. second hit completely annihilated the damn thing. You see an enemy gun here, probably from the crew. Let's take a look at that new enemy contact all across the valley. All across the valley, we have enemy contacts and tanks right there. Where we decided to do the, um, well, actually, no, where we decided to do the um, recon moves over here. But over here, let me get that. Come on, mouse, what are you doing to me? Over here, we've got an actual tank battle going on. And I actually just want to keep our guys right where they are. Yeah, like just stay put. And what I'm going to do is force Zakirov to face forward here. Maybe he can get this armored car in the hell out of this area. Man, look at that. That's a lot of enemy tanks. Quite a lot of enemy tanks. We also still have one of our tanks here. Nope, never mind. Sorry, that's our, um, actually just a standard APC. Oh, man, things just got a little crazier. Let's take a look at the right side. Maybe we're going to need to bring in our tanks over here to assist. Is that what and Kajakov? I'm going to force them forward, guys. Uh, we're going to attack with them. Hopefully, we'll be able to hit the enemy from the side, but I'm thinking that the topography is going to make that pretty difficult. Nonetheless, we're taking the fight to those enemy armored cars. Let's go, baby. Oh, nice! Yeah, he's definitely firing at something over there, but looks like just enemy infantry. 
did take the key point, and I'm guessing, yep, it's going to be the um, covert uh, area. So we're going to immediately grab these tanks, and you know what we need to do with them. Fast move over here to try and stop uh, the enemies from overwhelming us here with their armor. Let's just take a look here at the Iranians. They've got some pretty nice armor here, guys. Look at this. And it's all uh, entrenched, essentially. So again, they're not attacking on this end. Not necessarily a point in us getting into a fight we can't win. Um, we are bringing those tanks over, but at our own risk. I'm thinking it's much safer to push the tanks over the edge here and fire on top of them, basically. Advance. We'll even move the armored car forward just to wipe out some of the infantry. Don't be afraid to shoot, Kishogen. You want to make it home, don't you? Taken again, beautiful. Uh, that's going to be this key point over here. So they clearly were not really trying to defend that one too much. Though we just destroyed another armored car over here, they might have some more assets here that we're not really paying attention to. But you know, the most valuable assets for us to destroy would be their armor, their actual tanks. So I think we keep pushing. such a dangerous situation, but since we're in the 1980s, they've got RPGs. Uh, we want to be careful. It's another reason I brought the armored cars along, too. In fact, I'm even going to take uh, Garkov and see if he will join us here. Get up the hill, boys. Recon squad. All look pretty fit for battle. Um, the problem is, for them to get to battle, I would estimate it would take another four or five minutes, maybe longer. Uh, this is, again, not easy terrain to traverse. See how these two guys are doing? I mean... Incredibly, Zakidov and also this fellow here, um, Slyunin, are still alive. So, either the enemy can't see us, just like we can't see them, or um, their armor is simply not getting, getting hit. And I'm thinking that we're probably hitting this hill uh, and completely missing their actual tanks. Oh, that was almost a, almost a hit right there on the top one. We are Soviet tankers attack. Two really nice hits there for the top one. Again, not sure if it really amounted to much. Let's take a look. Nope, just missing it. As you can see, it's just sailing overhead. Now, the enemy is asking for a ceasefire. Uh, we're definitely not going to be accepting that ceasefire. And now they just decided to continue the battle. That was a quick switcheroo there. Leads me to believe that they like the fact we attacked, which uh, maybe not the greatest decision, the Vapor. Over there we've got another uh, enemy anti-tank, or not anti-tank, um, another enemy uh, armored vehicle. So I'm going to move over there, actually, and see if this guy, Karpov, can take him out. He's already taken out one of the enemy APCs. I'm sure he'll be the same with the rest. Thing to tally up our kill count a bit, but of course I really want to get into 
into an actual tank battle with these guys. I think the Politburo would be very happy with a victory here in the, uh, in the Afghan, uh, deserts, as it were. Yeah, I think so. That's what they consider an attack. Unless we order a fast move, they're not going to get any closer. Thing is, these guys are just in such a good position. Uh, I couldn't think of a better position on this map for a defending unit. So, unless we were on this side, and even then, they would all spot us. I'm not sure we're gonna get much of a hit on them. All right now, it looks like Kuprov may have a visual on this guy. Almost had a visual on the guy on top. As soon as we break this hill. Uh, it's pretty much a do-or-die moment. I mean, somebody's gonna get killed, of course. Uh, but if we can break that hill, I'm almost certain that we'll get a hit on an enemy vehicle. Not sure if that hit is gonna kill it, or just, uh, pretty much make the enemy aware of all the units we have here. And then it just turns into an utter S-show for us. Alright, Kayunin is actually getting a little closer here. Still not hitting the target, Sayunin. What the hell is that? Is that... Maybe it's an RPK? It just sounded really strange. Fear nothing. Mother Russia is with you all the way. That's a hit. I think that might have, might have been the first hit we got on that vehicle. So we got any noticeable damage? She looks fine. We're not even didn't even take off the uh, side panels or anything. She's looking just fine. It's gonna take a little more than that. Probably gotta get a little closer to really damage her. That, sure enough, there is that armored car. He's hiding from Kuprov. There he is, Kuprov. He may have just lost targets? Really, man? Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought he lost the target. He lost the visual, but he knew where the enemy was before and just torched him. Look at this. We got enemies escaping from this vehicle, completely on fire, and nobody's going to escape this thing alive. Um, absolutely not. Although we just had a commander killed and a vehicle lost, and that's actually our covert team moving up here. Uh, it's not our initial attack team. This is our secondary team moving up. It looks like this in this little slit of the desert, we can actually spot the enemy. So I'm going to select them. Hopefully our men will start targeting them as well. Uh, but sneaky, sneaky by the Afghans, or actually the Iranians, really. Since the tankers are definitely Iranians and not Afghans. All right, we're about to break the top here. This makes me getting nervous. And you know what? Jakinov has also broken the top. Target. So it's all up to him. It's all up to this tanker if he can kill Jabotin. 
He certainly took one good hit, but we just took him out. Look at that, guys. It is a beautiful thing. Just a beautiful thing. Let's keep on and keep it on. The Soviet Army rolls forward. tank and I believe two armored cars. Two tanks! No, two tanks on our side and an armored car over here. Really good shooting by the enemy there and that guy dead there in the front is a good representation of the Afghan war for the Soviets. Uh, three tanks, five tanks on the enemy side. Still an unacceptable number of losses on my side. I think this should be like a minor victory. Um, as for killed, 24 guys dead on our side, 32 dead on the enemy side. Again, very even. And with an ally like the Iranians, it would make sense that these conflicts would be a lot more even. We also got the hero achievement here for Jabotin for destroying five enemy tanks. Really, truly a hero of the Soviet Union. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care, and I'll catch you on the next one.